Okay, so here's my original rock band pedal. And yeah, like many of you guys that are watching, it snapped in half. So, anyways, it's on to business. What you need to do is you're going to need to, un there's going to be four screws around here somewhere. And, um, there's a, there's a black thing that goes on top of this, but I took mine off and I don't know what I did with it. But no big deal, just unscrew those four screws and you'll find the magnet here. You're going to need this magnet because that's what attracts the sensor. And it's going to be covered with some um, glue so it might be hard to take out. So I just use pliers. You know, a knife will work too. But you just use the pliers and you take that out. And um, so I got my pliers and I took this uh, magnet out. And you can see... Let me take this. Let me take this here. There are two parts of a magnet. My camera won't be able to show it, but I take it apart with my hands here. Ah, oh, stupid magnets. All right, there are two parts here. One's going to be covered with glue. You don't need that part. It's a little. It's the tiny part. What you need, this one right here. You don't need this one. This little one. You can see the glue still on it. You don't need that one. It. But what you do need is this one, which is the main magnet, the big one. Alright, so just put that off to the side. And now, you're going to need to take out these two screw, two silver screws right there. That will let you get the sensor. Bear with me here. Okay. So I want you to unscrew those. Sorry, the sensor popped out. The sensor is going to be here. This sensor is the one that detects the battery and it measures the hits from your base pedal. So you take this out here. So you just have this this wire and the sensor thing. You can put that off to the side. And you'll no longer need this anymore. So feel free to do whatever you want with it. Um, so now what you'll need to do is you'll get your original, your or your new, I should say, bass pedal from your real drum set. And you're going to need to put this get this, you'll need your um, sensor, your bass pedal, and the magnet that I told you to save. You'll need those three things and probably some scotch tape or whatever you want to use to hold the sensor to the pedal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this sensor under the bass pedal and that will allow me to get this thing working. So, just put it under here. You can see it's under. Ha, huh, sorry, I messed up with my camera. It's under the base pedal. And just get some scotch tape to put this together so it doesn't come out. Okay, so now I'm back after I finished taping my sensor up to my pedal. And you can see here that it's successful. Remember, I have not touched the magnet yet. You have not touched the magnet yet. Leave that still right here off to the side. You'll need this in a little bit, but make sure you don't do anything with that yet. So, show, just verifying I have the sensor connected to the base pedal. You know, here it is. And um, so now, the important part and the tricky part is right here. You'll have to find out, according to what base pedal you have, you have to place this magnet vertically under the sensor. And for me, all I had to do was... See if I can hold this here. Place my magnet right 
here. See that? That's the magnet right there. And there's a the sensor. So now, when it goes down for each hit, it'll pick up each hit and it will, you know, function like your standard rock band bass pedal. So like I said, it's, this may take a while, you know, it's kind of tricky. You have to find out, you know, you have to adjust the magnet to where you want it, to where it has to be, you know. So, it, so this took me about maybe 30 minutes trying to find out the exact place where, and I might have to do it again because it still might not be the exact place where it needs to be, but the point is you have to have this magnet vertically under the sensor for it to work. So yeah, you have to play with, around with it a little bit, but after that, you know, after you find it out, it should work. So now I'll show you what happens. Um, I'll play a little rock band demo with this uh, new mod. So here's a demo of how it's supposed to work. As you can see, it is connected, and there's a sensor, and the uh, magnet's still right there. Let me show you. I don't know if it's hard to see. See, you can hear it. You might not be able to see it that good on the screen, but you can hear it. So, like I said, it works. Works fine. It's it um it's a lot easier for those you know double hits. You know those really fast um, notes on the bass, but it works. And also another thing I might like to add that is that these socks you know they work really good um, if you have one of the earlier drum models like I do you know I got this game pretty much when it came out and these drum sets uh, pretty much suck so I put socks on it and it, it's easier to get the hit a lot of the really fast notes and um, so that's it this is my rock band set and uh, I'm gonna go play now so thank you for watching my video and I hope you find it useful